Last time on our sea quest to Bahia de los Angeles, we dove beneath the surface to see what fish live along the coastline in the Sea of Cortez. But what happens when the light goes out? My name is Trevor Leclerc, and I went on a marine expedition to Baja, California to show you some of the amazing animals that live in the Sea of Cortez and to present to you the sea creatures of Bahia de los Angeles. This beautiful sunset over the bay creates a tranquil environment making it easy to fall asleep in these cots tonight near the water's edge. But before we go to bed tonight, let's hike on down to the beach. That way, we can do some night snorkeling to see what animals come out after the sun goes down. Soon after jumping in, we were visited by this Cortez stingray who is hunting along the bottom searching for a tasty snack. The Cortez stingray is a species of round ray that is easily recognized by its circular body and its round quaddle fin. The Cortez stingray also has a venomous spine on its tail, which could cause a painful wound when threatened or stepped on. Aww, check out this adorable puffer fish sleeping on the sand. How cute! Leaving the beach, we now dive into the rocky reef to see what animals live among these boulders. This species of fish is known as a spotted cabrilla, also known as a spotted grouper, a predatory fish that feeds on crustaceans and other fish. Oh, look, an angelfish. As we continue to snorkel, we begin to discover marine invertebrates living among the sea floor. One such animal is this anemone, which has tentacles containing stinging cells known as nematocysts, which help it catch its prey. When threatened, these anemones retract back into the sand where they remain hidden from predators. Heh, <laughs> false alarm. As part of our invertebrate discovery, we also came across a few echinoderms, such as these urchins. This particular urchin is known as a slate pencil urchin. And finally, we have this gulf sun star. But check out what's next to it. Can you see it? It looks like a rock among other rocks. That there is a scorpion fish, commonly known as the Pacific spotted scorpion fish or the stone scorpion fish. Now wait a second, is that, oh my gosh, I think it is, oh, check it out, it's an octopus, oh, this is so cool, I love cephalopods, they are incredible animals, wow, oh, yeah, this here is a California two-spot octopus, the California two-spot octopus gets its name because it has a spot beneath each eye to confuse predators allowing it to escape. Wow this is a cool animal. This octopus is venturing around at night searching for food before retrieving back to its den for sunrise. I love how these animals move. These guys are definitely one of nature's masters of camouflage. Low tide has brought our coastal adventure to an end with one last encounter with this Gulf Sun Star, an echinoderm that can have up to 25 legs. Notice as it glides across my hand using its tubular feet to walk from one point to another. Now I think it's time to release this fellow back into the water, asking ourselves a question. It lives beyond the coast of Baja, California. <laughs>